Hi there. Greetings. It's another uh, Whiskey Masterclass tasting. Uh, I am Lou Bryson. I'm the author of these two books, Whiskey Masterclass and the previous classic, Tasting Whiskey, both of which were edited by my friend, Sam Comlenic. Welcome aboard. We're glad to have you back for another episode, and uh, we're doing a single whiskey today. We are doing a single whiskey today. This is another one of our short snort tastings. Um, this is the 2021 uh, Dad's Hat Baldwin Bond. Uh, we have this because uh, because I helped pick this one. Um, uh, the guys at, uh, at Dad's Hat at Mountain Laurel Spirits. Correct. To give them the correct name. Uh, they're only about uh, 20 minutes from my uh, current home in Langhorne, Pennsylvania. And uh, they said, you know, why don't you come by, help us taste? And I did. It was fun. I mean, it was, it was fun, but it was work, you know. I was invited too, but I was in the middle of a movie. You were in the middle of a movie. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it was literally that day. It may have been. I think it was yeah, that, yeah. It may have yeah. been. Um, so I went over and, uh, and we tasted through, wow, uh, at least 12 barrels. I think oh it might have been closer to 16. Wow. Um, Don't you get a little bit of palate fatigue? Well, you know, we took our time, we talked about them, and we did them in stages, really. Because they, and, and here's an interesting thing. I mean, this is, you, you think about, um, you know, blending is a much harder process than barrel selection. Mm -hmm. um, because when you're blending, you're looking at a couple of, you know, different ages, different barrels, um, sometimes different types of whiskey. I mean, like Scotch whiskey is grain whiskey and malt whiskey for the blend. Um, but in this case, I mean, it's all just straight up dad's hat right out of the barrel. And essentially, you're looking for, um, you're looking for a consistent group or else uh, a group that is... Um, that at least seems to meld well right from the get go. Complementing. Yeah, yeah. So, so we had we had two groups. Is this? You know, I don't know how many barrels. It's not Correct. a lot. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot. I would guess uh, ten or less. Um, this is, I believe, this is only for sale. No, I'm wrong. The cask strengths are only for sale at the distillery. This is sold through the Pennsylvania State Store Correct. system. I believe mm -hmm. it's also sold in other places where Dad's Hat is sold. Uh, which, I mean, at this point, Europe, California, um, yeah. they're out there. And this is a Monongahela-style rye whiskey. Um, as as rye, close as we know what that is. As close as we know what that is. Uh, rye and barley malt, no corn. Um, a, lot of, a lot of rye. A lot of rye. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of rye. Yeah. 80, 85? I can never remember. Uh, I know it's 5% and, barley malt. And... and Ten percent malt. Okay, then eighty-five percent rye. Yeah, I think it's eighty-five. Yeah. Whoops, over poured a little. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it ain't gonna go to waste. And so um, I noticed that when I was getting our glasses out, Sam has a two thousand three Malt Advocate Whiskey Fest glass. Malt Advocate. Yeah, I uh, reaching back into the archives. This is a uh, San Francisco Whiskey Fest, but the year's been worn off. I think I want to say. 2012 maybe but the first whiskey fest i went to was well before i was on the staff of the magazine that was the uh first chicago ah and it wow, was first it chicago was stemware was a blast. Do you, this is before uh this is before oh, glenn, glenn Karen Karen started even invented so at least available here uh, yeah so um the bottle and bond, of course, it is bottle and bond. It's at least four years old. Uh, the youngest whiskey we tasted was a few months over four. Um, it's 100 proof, uh, all one season. So when we tasted the two bonds, I mean, because that's what the Canadians call them, the, like a season of whiskey, uh, when we tasted the, the, the one bond, it was six months output, and then it was the next six months output. Mm -hmm. uh, so one distillery, one distiller, uh, one season, um, hundred proof. At least four years old. At least four years old. So, cheers. Cheers. Boy, lots of dark fruit, but some almost like a a, a slightly stewed character. Yeah. Yes. I, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But at the same time, you're definitely getting the. Um, I don't know, sunny meadow, grassy. I'm getting that as a top note. 
But it smells good. I think it bears stating and well repeating because we've said this before this does not smell like what most americans or most canadians would think of as a rye, rye whiskey, whiskey. That's and correct. yet i mean it doesn't even smell you know it's it's 95 percent rye and rye malt but it doesn't smell like an mgp 95 percent rye whiskey either no this this has a very distinctive nose to it in that regard and in fact it's getting to the point where i wonder if i can't start to pick out this nose from dad's hat in general oh the bond like we can in in no i mean just the the you said from dad's hat in general do in you general. mean from rye in general or no 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 from dad's hat their whiskeys across the line they they do their regular oh the, small barrels small the, right right the, the gotcha house house character yes yes it's distinct Mm. I'll tell you what, that's not nasty for 100 mm. proof, right? It's not nasty. I mean, it's not hot. No, it's not hot at all. And in fact, you get the rye up front on the palate of this. This is a dry whiskey. Mm. The sweetness that you would expect that sweet from fruit. a bourbon or from... Or from, from the aroma. Or Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. That's a very grain-forward mouth. It's mm. not as much as the... The nose is more... What fermentation character? I would have to agree. Yeah, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. but the mouth is. I mean, the palate's very grain driven. That's one of those technical terms mm. we use in mm. uh, books like these. Grain driven. Grain driven. <laughs> <laughs> Write that one down. <laughs> um. Mm. Mm. That, that would make a powerful cocktail. That grassy thing that you were talking about. You get this more is, now. Is in the palate. Yeah. I get that on the palate now too. Yeah. Um, oh, you mentioned cocktails. Uh, Dad's Hat does a line of uh, portable cocktails. Yes. That, uh, man, their Manhattan is just top shelf. So yeah. if you have not had it... I have a have box it. of those out in the kitchen. I have a box of them at home. <laughs> I bought a box of them. They're fun. They are fun. And they can, you can stick them right in your shirt pocket. All right. Now, Herman gave me this... Descriptor Herman and I, Mihalik, I, the I, Herman Mihalik at 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 Dad's hat. Dad's hat. Um, uh, and he said you might notice a little cocoa in this, and I believe I do. And I don't know if that's the power of suggestion that I got from him. <laughs> I can tell you that. You know, I got to tell you, I've picked up cocoa in the MGP, but I'm I'm not. Hmm. Maybe See, a I little that, on the I'm rear end. I'm getting it on the back of the palate. On the back, okay, yeah, I'm all right. It on the back of the palate, absolutely. All right, if we get something close um, to that in the same place. I, I think Dad's Hat has really kind of hit their stride in the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, they were um, pretty good to begin with. Yeah. Really. But I'm, I'm finding much more consistency and really ease of drinking mm -hmm. lately more than I had in the early days. Yeah. And I've been following them pretty much since, well, you too, yeah. since the beginning. From the beginning. Um, I mean, it used to be that I wanted to like it. Now I want to drink it. You know, mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah. That's this is the best to my to my mind. This is the best bottle and bond offering they've done to date. Yeah. Um, I would be interested in how many barrels. Just I don't know why, but I'd be interested in yeah. how many barrels they put in. It into sticks this. in my mind. It was ten to twelve. Okay. Yeah. So you use most of those barrels that you tasted. There were only, have you tasted 12 to 16 barrels? Oh, we didn't taste all of them. Oh, oh, We were oh. tasting representatives from the group. I see. Yeah, okay. yeah. We tasted gotcha. between 6 and 10 now from I understand. two groups. Okay. And then, of course, you know, we just kind of fooled around a little and tasted some other stuff. I also <laughs> give them uh, props for uh, making a bespoke bottle from the beginning. They've had Oh, yeah, that's own, their bottle. Their own distinctive package, which I think works very well. Yep. Mm. <laughs> yeah, very well done. Yeah. Um, if you have access to this whiskey, I, I would personally recommend this highly. Absolutely. Lay out the bucks for this one. What's the retail on it, do you know? You know, like the guy at Jack Daniels told me, son, if I have to know the price, I'm in the wrong part of the business. Huh. I, uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 you know, I want to say seventy bucks, but I'm not no, sure. No, I think they backed that off. Did they? I, it, it was higher at first. Right. Now, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I like this too, the it's Keystone. De- it's definitely uh, differentiated by a sticker every yep. year. This is the 2021. It's 2021. Sticker, so. Keep an eye out yeah. on, your, on your increasingly crowded rye whiskey shelves at your local <laughs> liquor store, which is not a bad thing. That is not a bad thing. Not it's a, a thing. much better thing than it was. Considering that uh, 30 years ago there were two or three brands in existence, um, I'm personally very gratified to see this resurgence. So, And I think we helped it. I think we did. Yeah. I think we did, absolutely. I've been pushing it forever. Yep. Um, I, I, I used to call myself the last of the Pennsylvania rye whiskey drinkers because when I came of age in the late 70s, there were still a couple of Pennsylvania distilled ryes on the back bar, and now there's more. Yes. So that's that's a wonderful thing. Yeah, it's I all mean, good. We got, we got Dad's Hat, we got Liberty Pole, we got Wiggle. Um, mm. God, who else is out there? Uh, Eight Oaks. Um, and I know I'm I know I'm missing some, and I apologize. Uh, Hidden still. Hidden still. Um, Barrel twenty one. Barrel twenty one. Liberty. New Liberty. Excuse new me. Liberty, right. New Liberty. Um, it's a it's a whole new era, and I I think we are, and I think we've discussed this before. I think we might be in the new gold age. Whiskey everywhere, and everybody drinking it. About damn time, don't you think? Yep. Okay. And on that note. Uh, Thanks very much. Check out the other videos. Buy the the book. Yes. Okay. It's where we rehearsed that. (laughs) Until next time. Thanks very much. Thanks for tuning.